In this video, I want to talk a little bit about a form of cancer chemotherapy and how it works biochemically. So if you recall from the last video, we had this reaction taking deoxyuridine 5 monophosphate DUMP to DTMP. And if you want the details on that reaction, go back to the other video, the previous video. Um, this reaction was catalyzed by thymidylate synthase. So what it did was take basically take a U nucleotide to turn it into a T nucleotide. Now this T, this deoxy T nucleotide, can later be used to make DNA. Now, the enzyme that makes this happen is thymidylate synthase. Okay, so this reaction is the target, the target, excuse me, of uh, a cancer chemotherapy drug, which is fluorouracil, which can be converted into fluorodeump, fluorodeoxyuridine monophosphate. Now, this fluorodeump has an effect on this enzyme and therefore an effect on this reaction. So, what exactly does fluorodeump do? Well, what it does is it covalently and irre irreversibly inhibits thymidylate synthase. So it stops this reaction from occurring. So what does that mean? What that means is that no DTMP will be made. Right? If this enzyme can't work, we won't make these DTMPs. Well, if no DTMPs are made, that basically means that we can't have Ts available for DNA synthesis. Right? We can't make DNA. Because DNA requires A's, T's, C's, and G's. So basically, what that means is DNA replication can't occur. Okay? So that means mitosis and cell division cannot occur. So why is fluorodeump a good form of cancer treatment then? Well, if you don't already know the definition of cancer or what cancer is in a nutshell, Cancer basically, in a few words, is uncontrolled cell growth. So cells grow, grow, and grow, and grow, and grow, and it's not con the cell growth is not controlled. So what forms are these things called tumors? Now, tumors are basically just clusters of mitotically active or rapidly dividing cells. So there's cells that just keep on growing, dividing, growing, dividing, and there's more and more and more cells. So fluorodeump is a good form of cancer treatment because these tumors, right, these clusters of mitotically active or rapidly dividing cells, can no longer grow and divide. Right, so the, the tumors can't grow. So why is it that they can't grow though? So the reason why is because S phase, right, which is the DNA replication phase of the cell cycle, it must occur as a prerequisite to cell division. So if you recall the cell cycle, we have G1, then S, G2, and then mitosis and cell cytokinesis. So the cell, in order to undergo through go through mitosis, the, the previous stages need to need to happen. You need to replicate the DNA before you can s separate sister chromatids in uh, mitosis. So if you don't have to, like if you don't replicate your DNA, then that can't happen, right? So um, if there's if the DNA is not replicated, you can't the cell cannot divide and grow, right? So um, so, which is good, right? We don't want tumors to grow. We want tumors to stop growing, right? So that's why fluorodeump is a good form of cancer treatment. In addition to that, more specifically, um, RNA synthesis, otherwise known as transcription, right, and translation, which is protein synthesis, are both unaffected. Now, why is that? Well, transcription is RNA production, right? RNA has U's instead of T's. Right, so uh, and proteins they use actually amino acids instead of nucleotides. So what am I getting at here? Well, RNA can still be made, right? RNA uses A's, U's, C's, and G's, so it doesn't depend at all on the presence of T in order to be produced. So transcription can still happen. Your DNA that already is there will still be there, but no new DNA replication can happen, right? RNA, however, RNA synthesis is not affected at all. So you can still turn the DNA that you do have into RNA via transcription. And if that's happening, RNA synthesis is still happening, then you can turn your mRNAs into proteins via a process called translation. And the reason why that can still happen is because proteins use amino acids. And the, the fact that there are no Ts available for DNA replication has no bearing on um, the amino acid availability. So proteins can still be made. So now there are some side effects, right, of, of this cancer treatment. So why can this treatment to some extent be bad? The reason why is because basically any mitotically active cells 
mitotically active cells cannot divide, right? This, this drug stops mitosis from occurring because it stops DNA replication. So examples of cells that are mitotically active are hair follicles, skin cells, immune cells, intestinal lining. So this is why people have uh, their hair fall out. Hair falls out because their, the hair follicles um, are no longer dividing, so their hair falls out. Uh, the skin cells can no longer grow and replace, right? So a lot, I don't know if you guys know this, but your, the, the outside of your skin is mostly dead skin cells, and it's per replaced uh, continually by new skin cells coming from beneath, beneath your outer surface of your skin. So um, some cancer patients, the side effect of this cancer treatment is that their skin uh, loses integrity, which essentially means um, it becomes thinner. Okay, and immune cells. If immune cells aren't, um, if the if old immune cells are not being, you know, uh, replaced by new ones, um, immunity can decrease. So cancer patients can be more susceptible to um, to illnesses, right, or infections. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, in addition, intestinal lining. Uh, that's another. Uh, set of cells that's continually dividing and if it's it can no longer divide and replace those old cells then um, this can cause uh, inflammation of the intestinal lining and that usually is, is pretty painful so people will see uh, get abdominal pain right so these are are um, some side effects of this cancer treatment right and this is the reason why so Another question that sort of comes up is why can the production of T, right, why can the production of T but not other nucleotides be blocked? And what would happen if the production of any other nucleotides were blocked? Well, T, right, is only in DNA. A, U, C, and G are all in RNA, right? So if we stop the production or block the production of A, U, C, or G, that would block RNA production. And if we had no RNA, no RNA production, we would have no RNA. If we had no RNA, we wouldn't be able to make proteins. And our body is basically made up of proteins, whether there's structural proteins that make up, you know, certain actual physical structures of our body, or enzymes that catalyze reactions that keep us alive. So if there are no proteins, that would result in um, death, which is obviously not a, not a good thing. So, but this this is pretty... This is incredibly interesting, right? That this T is only in DNA. And blocking that can actually benefit cancer patients. Um, but blocking any of the other nucleotide synthesis would be um, incredibly detrimental. So this is uh, definitely interesting. Um, I hope you found it interesting. I hope you found it helpful. Um, one thing to bear in mind is I'm not a doctor, so take everything, I, or, or an expert rather, so take everything I say with a, with a grain of salt. But this should be pretty accurate for the most part. I hope you found that interesting and helpful and informative. One last thing, I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at mufuniversity at gmail.com and check out the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.